had a, a pretty sobering experience here yesterday. Um, afternoon, early afternoon, uh, Elaine, my friend who's camped up and over the, the hill a few minutes walk that way, she called me up and said, hey, did you just see all of those emergency vehicles go by? And I didn't, you know, the road that she sees, I can't see from here. She said there were um, a whole group of ATVs, uh, sheriff's vehicles, pickup trucks, and then a really large military type uh, vehicle. And so I threw on my shoes and I walked over to, to her place and I said, well, let's go walk. We knew the direction they were going and that's down towards, um, there's a trailhead down there, uh, White Trail, I believe it's called that there's a parking area and a lot of folks go down there. I'm sorry, this knucklehead is down here just digging holes and going crazy. I'm gonna walk somewhere else. So her and I took a walk down there. It's about, I don't know, maybe a mile. And we got down there and sure enough in the parking area were all of the, uh, that large military vehicle. I don't know what it was, but it was a really large tan colored off-road vehicle uh, they had unloaded side by sides and all the four wheelers uh, had gone up in and it turns out we talked to one of the um, sheriffs that was there and he said yeah they're they're out um, searching for someone so we spent a couple minutes there chatting with him and we walked away and about five o'clock or so Ghislaine said that she saw them the vehicles all leave so I I said well it sounds like they found the person so everything's okay well today I went and just did some reading on the uh, Washington County search and rescue page which is uh, the county we're in here and it turned what it turns out is that there was uh, there was a group of people mountain biking down there and they saw a bicycle with nobody near it near the edge of the Mesa and someone had actually gone off, gone over the cliff and, and they died. They were, uh, they, they went down and recovered the body. Um, the article says it was about a 75 foot fall uh, and uh, the guy passed away down there. Um, so really, uh, you know, the, the area we're at, so beautiful and with the beauty is the danger. And I know for myself, um, you know, I do a lot of walking out here with Lefty and, you know, we don't, when, when I walk over to these edges here, you guys can't see it from the camera angles, but a little bit farther down from the rocks we're on are more rocks sticking out. So we're not, we're not on that last rock looking down the cliff. You know, I won't go that far because he, you know, he keeps going and going and wants to go as, as far as the rocks will let him, but we don't go that close. Um, and I also don't let him run off leash here because he he'll go down the cliff and he could he could really get hurt. So really sobering. Um, my other friend Marshall, he's a big mountain biker. He was actually out all afternoon yesterday mountain biking, but he went the other direction. Um, I don't know, maybe thankfully or else he would have come across the, the bicycle down there. So there's a couple of video clips here that shows the search and rescue group and and they are a well outfitted group they had uh dirt bikes four wheelers side by sides and then that large vehicle that was like a command center that they had set up uh, and then pickup trucks and so they you know they are very well suited for search and rescue in this kind of climate in this area and this terrain so uh, this area is really lucky to have that group of responders um, that can come out and help find people. Unfortunately, in this case, uh, the guy's fall was too much and, and he passed away. So I'll put the clips up here and um, just if any of you are, are in areas similar to where I am here, you know, really be careful. As, as pretty as things are, there's no need to get it right up close to the edge. Um, so that's, that's about all I got to say about it. Uh, I'll talk to everybody real soon.